G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, in that last video, I cast this piece of aluminium in a two-piece steel mould, and it turned out pretty good. So now I want to mill it. And going way back, I had a, a fly cutter, which had two carbide insert tips on it. And it worked okay, I thought. But anyway, a few people said, hey, Rob, those angles are wrong. They're not quite right. So when I looked at it, yeah, they were right. The angles weren't quite right. So I rejigged it. And I turned it into a single point fly cutter with a high speed steel tip held in with a grub screw and this works pretty damn good. But one thing I'd always had an eye on, um, the fly cutters I've seen on the internet being sold commercially and they look like this. They, uh, they have a head, there you go, is that maybe a collet or chuck? Should be a collet. And they're designed to take a uh, standard indexable uh, carbide tip cutter on an angle like this. Let's, oh, sorry, it goes that way. Yep, like that. So basically, you mill up from the bottom and you mill a slot up into it so that this slides up into it and is located basically in that position. And then you've got three grub screws go through and hold it all together. So looking at the bottom, there's the centre line, you mill it, you mill it off centre so that your, uh, your cutter, that's the right way, your cutter goes in from the bottom like that on an angle and then your grub screws come through from this side. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to make up one of those and uh, yeah, you can come with the ride. This is my chip deflector. Keeps it all uh, in the tray. Well used, as you can see. <laughs> but it does the job. I'll have a break and clean up a bit before it sprays it everywhere. So yeah, a bit of cardboard is all you want to keep the shit from flying around the shed. You can see these cuttings have got pretty warm, it's pretty hard going. That little old lathe's doing it no problem whatsoever and the finish is okay. So uh, I'll clean this up and then we'll change the angle of the cutter so I can get uh, in past the live centre. It's getting a bit close. Uh, I'll put a different one on and it can square up the tool post a bit the four way. Clean this out and then do some more.
Right, well, we're just about done with the milling and the uh, tapping and all the rest of it. Now it's just a matter of just turn it to final size. That's why, you know, always start off, leave a bit more than you need, and then you clean it up in the final pass. So I'll just turn it down to 20 mil and just run the, the finishing cutter over this and uh, cut some bolts to length. And she's all done. So you basically just sit in there like that. And then there's be some, some grub screws holding the, the thing together to stop it coming apart. I've seen these on the internet and they look quite good. You can uh, just use your standard indexable cutters in. So there you go. How good is that, eh? Ooh, heavy duty. And uh, yeah, just make sure you get your centre line lined up pretty right, and that's not too bad. Actually, being back a little bit wouldn't hurt, it would give it a bit more of a, a lead in, but being too far this way would be bad news because it, would be, it wouldn't be cutting as good. So, yeah, pretty nifty, eh? <laughs> right. Yeah, that looks about right. 20 mil. Perfecto. That'll do it. Well, I've just finished off the the head. Use a tool post grind on it just to uh, get the marks out. It's going to get marked anyway, so that's pretty right. But uh, not bad, I suppose, for just doing it on a vertical mill slide. So now I've just got to do the grub screws to hold the, the cutter in, and she's good to go. Isn't it typical? You do these jobs and you use up your old bolts and stuff. And all my Allen headed bolts are all either the wrong thread or they're too short. And I've got two which are right, and of course I'm one short. So these are Whitworth with a um, metric head. A bit unusual, but anyway, that's what I've got. Uh, and luckily I've gone through my stuff and I've found these I see I was out of an old treadmill. They love using Allen headed bolts in treadmills, so you know you get a lot of these sort of bolts out of treadmills and they're handy. And even though it's the wrong shape, I'll just uh, grind the head to the same diameter and uh, it'll do the job for now until I get pick up another one. Hardly notice the difference. In fact I might even do two of them, do make a matching pair, I'll see. Anyway, i once again this is where the tool post grind is handy. You can do these with the uh, with the uh, an ordinary cutter, but I've got the grinder set up, so I'll just grind them away and uh, save changing over the tool post again. But yeah, they're handy, the old TPGs, and uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll get on with it. Well, that's it. Job done. That's uh, one of the indexable 13 mil cutters in there, and uh, yeah, job turned out pretty right considering. So I can put that one in for for normal cutting, and I'll also take this one for fine finishing. It'll have enough rate to just you know give it a facing cut. So. I think that angle's pretty right. Um, the ones I've seen commercially available look pretty si pretty similar. So we we'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, I think that's aggressive enough to do the job. And uh, as far as in balance, I'll fire it up. That's 620 RPM and is absolutely no vibration of any description so I think it'll be okay 
even though you've machined out still on one side off centre you've actually got a bit more hanging off this side with the cutter uh, length so overall I don't think it's going to make a big difference. I have seen them where they've milled a bit of this away which uh, would lighten it and offset any variation. I can always do that if it's necessary but at this sort of speed it seems okay. Um, I've also made the bolts a bit longer than necessary so that I can put in smaller diameter, small, smaller style, size uh, cutters if I want to. And it won't hurt. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Project completed. Next thing is try it out. So I suppose that will be in a future video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Got a few ideas. See you next time. Cheers.